Hi everyone, Silent Wolf here and welcome to part 2 of my tutorial series. I'm going to show everyone how I do my line art and how I color for my pieces, so let's get started. So starting from the last video, we are going to use the sketch layer that we had and we're going to set the opacity to 10 to 30%. It's a little off the screen so you guys can't see it at the moment, but it is between 10 and 30% just so it's almost visible, visible enough for us to see our line art over the sketch layer. Now compared to last time, I'm going to be using a different brush. This is the brush I use for most of my line art because it has a nice ending to it. It has a sharp point so that I can use the line art pretty precisely and it connects well whenever I continue on with my line art. I'm just showing you guys how this brush looks with the line art. It's pretty, you can change the size of it and the thickness. Depending on the artist, they do thick lines and thin lines. I personally do thin lines, that is my preference, but you guys can do whatever you choose to do. If you like thick lines, go ahead and do that. Getting into the tablet that I use, I use the Wacom Intuos Pro tablet. It is very good for pressure sensitivity as well as I can be draw very precisely with this tablet. It's really nice. Now, I know there are mouse users out there and that is perfectly fine. This may not be the tutorial for you as this is mainly for tablet users, those that have very good control with their pens. Uh, if you are using a mouse, I would recommend going to a different tutorial that has to do with pen tool, which would be down towards the bottom left of Photoshop. So to start, I am beginning with the ears. I always start at the ears for some reason. That seems to be my starting point. You can start wherever you want. It's up to you. I just happen to be here on the ears. As we get into the line art, you guys are going to see the lines suddenly disappear and me redrawing them. That has to do with me pressing the three buttons, Control, Alt, and Z at the same time. That is the undo for Photoshop. It may be different for your program depending on which program you use. I do this a lot because I always go over my lines. Some lines I'm not completely satisfied with, so I'll just have to keep redoing them until I see a line that I'm comfortable with and I'm satisfied with. We're going to go ahead and speed this process up as you don't have to see me draw every single line. You get the basic idea of what I'm doing here, just drawing the whole line art for this piece. A very helpful tip that I've gotten from friends is draw with confidence. You've seen before that I draw one line at a time, I go by sections and I draw very confidently. I draw a straight line or a curved line, I go right through and very quickly. Now that most of the line art is done, we're going to go ahead and make a separate layer called the face layer. And this is just so that I can put the face on a different layer so that it's easier to select when coloring the full body later. You're so close now. They always said you make it far, but they failed to mention how. So you keep fighting. After finishing my line art, I went ahead and zoomed out, viewed the whole piece just to make sure there weren't any mistakes. I did notice that the line art on the ear was a bit thicker than the rest of the body, so I just went ahead and erased that and redid the ear so that my line art was consistent throughout the whole piece. So what you're seeing right now is me just thickening some parts of the line art. I like having those random thick areas in my piece. It's really pleasing to the eye for me, so I went ahead and did that. It's really up to you what you do with your line art. So now that the line art layer is finished, we're going to go ahead and start coloring. I do not like line art, so I'm definitely very excited to get into the coloring portion of this tutorial. So we're going to make a new layer under the sketch and line art layer. We're going to call it color. This is for the horse's body color. And I noticed that the horse's body color is a bit light and would be very hard to see in front of a white background. So I went ahead and made a new layer under the color layer called BG for background. I picked a mid-gray kind of bluish color so that it was just easy to see the body color and went ahead and filled it in. You can make it as messy as you want as to I'm going to show you guys a trick on how to 
select the outside that is not the body and go ahead and delete that section that does not have color so it's going to be very easy. After filling color, I went ahead and made a new layer above the color layer called the hair layer and this is just for the hair for the OC. I went ahead and selected and to select a color, all you have to do is just hold the button Alt on your keyboard. This is for Photoshop. I don't know if this works for every program. You may have to check for your program. That is to select colors in Photoshop. So I went ahead and selected Alt, picked the color, and filled it in for the hair. Now, at the very top left, I just selected the Magic Wand tool. What the Magic Wand tool does is it helps you guys select any part of your line art that is not part of the body to help you get rid of the hair and color layer to, to fix it, to clean it up. So click on the line art layer, and then you're going to go ahead and select the outside of the body, the, oh, the whole background space. And as you're going to see, there's going to be this moving little dotted line all around the body. Go to select, modify, and expand. Now, you want to expand by only one pixel. If your line art is too thin, you're going to go ahead and select the hair section, the hair layer, and you're going to hit delete or backspace or back arrow, whichever your keyboard has on its delete button. You're going to go ahead and select delete, and then you're going to go to the color layer and also select delete. And as you can see, it deletes everything that I selected from the outside of the body. Now we're going to go back to that line art layer, select the magic wand tool again, and you're going to select inside the body where the hair wouldn't be. That would be the head area, the ears, the body, the feet, the hooves, the legs. We're going to go ahead and go to the top of Photoshop, hit select, modify and expand once again by only one pixel. Select the hair layer and go ahead and delete. And that will delete all of the parts of the hair that would not be there so that it looks a little better now you can see. So now that we already have the whole body filled, we're going to go ahead and fix any areas that you can see that may have been messed up, usually in corner areas of my line art. As you can see, I just circled them. So we're going to go ahead and fix these issues. After finishing fixing the hair layer, we're going to go ahead and go to the color layer and fix up that part, just the same thing that we just did. I only just erased any areas where the hair layer would be that the body shouldn't be and just got rid of those parts. Now we are almost done with coloring the piece. Now all that's left is to color in the eyes. You're going to make a new layer above the hair layer and name it eyes. You're going to go ahead and select white just for the eye white. And I went ahead and hid the color layer because it was a little bright and hard for me to just see the white. So I just wanted to use that dark background again. And I went ahead and erased whatever part that the white shouldn't be a part of. Since this OC doesn't have a lot of complicated designs, which is really beneficial for any beginner, you want to have a simple design to start with. Now, to get that hair gradient that we saw in the design, we are going to go ahead and make a new layer and we're going to hold the button called Control alt g or on your keyboard you're going to hold the keys Control alt g all at the same time and that will make a clipping mask on this specific layer now i'm going to show you that whenever you draw it's not going to go outside of that hair layer and that's what how magical clipping mask is i love having clipping mask for any layers at all whenever i color in designs or markings for the horse or gradients and hairs. So it's really nice. I went ahead and used a basic airbrush tool and just selected for the proper gradient color that was for the ends of the hair. You can also do just filling in a big blob and then using the smudge tool. It really doesn't matter. It's gonna have the same end result. The airbrush tool may be a little easier, especially for those that don't have a good smudge brush. It depends on what you have. I went ahead and fixed it, that hair that I noticed I had missed from coloring the body originally and filled in the hose with a silver horseshoe color. I thought that would look cute on this OC, so I went ahead and did that. I believe that is it for this tutorial on line art and coloring. The next video should be on shading and then the video after that should be on rendering, so hopefully I'll have those out within a week or so. Keep in mind, this is just how I do things with my style. It may be completely different for any other artist. This is just how I do it. And if there's anything that you can learn from this video and maybe implement it in your own style, you're free to do so.
Thanks so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time.